Hi, welcome to the Rittner Floral School in Boston, Mass. I'm Dr. Steve Rittner, and it's a pleasure to have you come in and visit one of our classrooms today. We've got a really neat demonstration planned for you. What we're going to be playing with today is kiwi vine. That's right, kiwi vine. It's really neat stuff, and we've been having a lot of fun with it recently at Rittner's Floral School. What is kiwi vine? This stuff. Isn't it interesting? It is a branchy material. It goes in all kinds of different directions. It curves, it twists, it turns, and it's a fairly good sized material too. Look at the size of it. We're going to play with a little bit of this in a couple of designs in this demonstration. First you'll notice our container. It's a rather distressed looking container. It has all kinds of nooks and crannies and so forth, but it's a perfect container for what we're going to be doing here because we're going to take some of our kiwi vine and we're going to play with it. We're going to take a few pieces of kiwi vine and right from the start establish the overall parameters of this design. I'm taking a piece placing it here. How about another piece and placing it up over here that kind of curves over in that direction. And then we'll take another piece that I've cut off and we're going to play with this as well so that we have some really interesting things going on here with our kiwi vine before we add a single flower to the design. Just by taking two or three of these. That's the beauty of this particular product. You can come up with some really, really interesting effects. Now, at this point, we can start adding some of our flowers. Let's play with a combination of materials. We're going to take a few of our carnations. And carnations are a very simple flower, but they fill space quickly, easily. They're showy, they're fun, and they're very reasonably in price. So notice I'm taking a few of my carnations, and I'm going to place them into our container so that we can come up with an interesting effect on our design using a few carnations. And let's play with some of our other materials too because we have some other neat things that we can mix in on this design. How about roses? You never can go wrong with roses. And so we're going to extend our design coming down in this direction with a rose. And then we'll play with another rose, say up here. And then how about taking another one of our roses and placing it over here so that now we're filling in the body of this thing using some of our roses. We have a few other things that we can play with in this design as well that give, I think, an interesting effect to our creation. We do have some of our green trick dianthus. This is a really, really cool flower. A very, very cool flower. It gives an interesting effect. So let's work a little bit of our green trick dianthus into our design. Put one over here. We'll place another one over in here so that we come up with an interesting effect with a couple of our green trick dianthus. And then, let's see, what other things can we find? Oh, well, we have some of our daisy palms. Let's work a daisy palm over here so that that kind of fills space very, very nicely there. And we'll take another one and work another one over in here. And then perhaps another one, work it over in here. You can see, my viewer, I'm having a lot of fun. I'm playing with some nice materials, some interesting materials, and it doesn't take much. When we start playing with our, uh, our uh, kiwi vine, we can really come up with some very, very interesting effects uh, on this stuff. How about some of our green athos palms? We'll take a few of those and work a couple in here, and then we'll play with another one over here to give another interesting effect over here, and then maybe one over here as well. So you can see with just a few flowers, it fills in very, very nicely for us. And now let's go back to our kiwi vine and add a little bit more kiwi vine to our equation here. I'm going to take another piece and I'm busy cutting it off while I'm talking to you. And I'm going to add one over here to follow the line of our design over there. And then finally, I'll take another one and work it in over here as well to really come up with something that is rather interesting. And notice that we're really making use of this curved effect of our kiwi vine. Now, at this point, we can take a little bit of our moss material and fill in with a little bit of moss. I'm using some of my Spanish moss. We have another name for Spanish moss here at Rittner's. We call it Dr. Stephen hair, because it kind of looks like what little hair I still have left. And I'm taking a little of that and drooping it down. I'm going to work a little bit more up here on the base as well, working a little here and there in between our flowers, and then using a few of our, our metal hairpins to hold it in place. 
and you can see that we have a very, very interesting composition indeed using our materials. I do want to add just another one or two things into this. I'm going to add a little bit more in terms of a miniature carnation. I'm going to place one over here as well so that I have something coming over in this side and I'll also work one right over in here. So you can see my viewer that with a few flowers we've come up with something rather interesting incorporating the concept of our kiwi vine. Very, very interesting structural. It gives an interesting shape. Something like this would work very well in many different places. Well, let's see what else we can do on this because this is a good way to start. We've got a very interesting piece here using a variety of things. Let's move this aside for a second and come up with something else using our kiwi vine. In this particular case, I prepared a container and let me move this design all the way out of the way so that it doesn't interfere visually with the, the next one. Uh, we've prepared a container and I've got this container with my foam in place. It's a distressed looking container. Uh, looks very, very rough and rugged looking, but it's rather interesting, don't you think, my viewer? And if you look very, very carefully, you'll notice that we have taken some foam, we placed foam in here, and then we've taken some of our moss materials, attached moss, and then placed kiwi vine all over the place. So it's quite wild looking. And once again, once we have this in place, we can do all kinds of neat things using <coughs> our flowers. And I'm going to work a few of my flowers coming here and there. I'm starting as I did the last one with some of my carnations. I'm going to place maybe a nice rose over here. We've got a nice open rose I'm going to work in over in this spot. I'm going to take another rose, a pink one, and work it in over here. And then perhaps another rose coming here towards the front, peeking out at us. How about a little bit of Alstromeria? I've got a very, very pretty piece of Alstro. I'm going to work that right in here. So notice how this is filling it up very, very nicely. I'm going to work another one of my carnations over on this side. In other words, I'm having fun. I'm filling this thing up with some pretty flowers and coming up with an interesting result. How about another rose working right over here, coming out at us? And then let's play with some of our yellow palms. I'm going to work one, tucking one right in there. And then another one of my yellow palms over here to kind of come right out at us here. And then another one over here. In other words, my viewer, what I'm doing is I'm just filling in with some of my flowers and coming up with a really, really cool effect. How about some of our green palms? That's our green athos, which really gives a very, very neat effect to my design. And I'm going to work another one or two of my green athos palms in here, which will help fill in and create a little bit of contrast to my unit and add some texture to it and really give a neat effect. I'm going to work another one over on this side as well. So notice, my viewer, how this is gradually filling in very, very nicely with my materials and at this point I can come back with more of my kiwi because this whole thing is based on the concept of kiwi and take a few pieces of kiwi and not only do we have kiwi on the bottom part of the design but we can take a few pieces of our kiwi and work it in on the top so it unifies what we have going on on the bottom of the design with some interesting motifs going on on the top. So notice, my viewer, that by taking this and working it through, it integrates what's going on down here with what's going on up here. Now, obviously, my viewer, this is a little bit more of a contemporary kind of approach. Some people would find this kind of way out. Well, what do you think? Quick, easy, and fun. That's the Rittner Floral School way. I hope that you've enjoyed this brief trip into one of our classrooms. We certainly enjoyed presenting this quick workshop on fun with Kiwi and you can see how we can mix it with all kinds of other things to come up with some really cool design results. On behalf of all of us here at Rittner's Floral School, we thank you for coming in and visiting with us today.